Hi everybody. My name is Peter Chittam. I'm one of the developer evangelists at Salesforce.com. And I'm here today to talk a little bit about Reveal.js and how I took the Reveal.js JavaScript library and included it in a Salesforce environment on the Force.com platform. So the slides pretty much tell the story. Reveal.js is a JavaScript library. It's pure HTML, CSS. And I thought this would be an interesting story to tell if I were to take this and dynamically generate some slides based on Salesforce data using the Visual Force UI framework on the force.com platform. So that's what I did. In fact, this entire presentation is running in a Visual Force page. So those of you who are familiar with force.com, you'll recognize this URL as a Salesforce URL. So let's take a quick look here and uh, let's see an example rather than this static example of a presentation. Let's take a quick look and see what this would, what we could do with this if we wanted to actually have a dynamic presentation. Uh, this is a Salesforce environment that I'm using for this demo. And if I go here to accounts and I go and look up an account, there's a recent one, Ames Social. I'm going to scroll down through this account and I can actually see this custom link present this account. And upon launching this, it takes me into a Reveal.js presentation. This presentation is going to be based off of the data we just saw in that account that I was in. You can see here that the actual title here for the slide, Aim Social, that's just coming from the account name. I'm using some standard functionality in Reveal.js to animate information. This particular presentation is also using an embedded chart. This is a new feature in spring 2014, our latest release of salesforce.com, where you can actually take a, a chart that came from your standard reporting functionality in Salesforce and embed it in a Visual Force page. So I've done that here. It doesn't work perfectly. Uh, there's a little bit of contention between the Reveal.js rendering and the rendering of the Visual Force page and the chart, something that I'm looking into. And I certainly want to explore other ways to do more rich presentations, visual presentations of data, where perhaps you could use an external JavaScript library, Google Analytics, all of that based on the data in your actual Salesforce environment. As you can see here, I'm also looking at the actual opportunities, the actual contacts. Reveal has a nice feature where you can back out and see the entire slide presentation. All that's built into Reveal.js, and plugging that into your Salesforce data, I think, makes for a very powerful story for how to present dynamically as things change in your Salesforce environment. I've now switched to Salesforce One, which is the mobile application for the force.com platform, and I'm going to show you where I am including Reveal.js so that you can access the exact same presentation only in this instance through your actual mobile device. Salesforce One has a feature called a mobile card. It allows you to embed a Visual Force page in the Salesforce One user interface. So it seemed like a natural place to try and use this Reveal.js presentation. When I actually select the mobile card, it takes me directly to the Visual Force page. So I'm now presenting it inside the Salesforce One mobile application. And it's the same thing. In this instance, I'm swiping, so I'm just using the standard swipe-based functionality that's included, again, in the Reveal.js library. And it's the same presentation, so I didn't include the chart in this instance, but you can see that I'm looking at my opportunities, I scroll over, and I can look at my contacts as well. I'd like to leave you with a little bit of food for thought, of course. One thing that is worth considering is how to package this, and you could do that with a custom Visual Force component. Nice thing about that is that it makes for a nice, easily installable feature that you could then install into other Salesforce orgs. You could also do some custom data manipulation using a custom controller on the Visual Force page using a little bit of code. And even though I showed you a little bit of charting, I'm really only scratching the surface there. So there's a lot more you could do with custom Visual Force charting or third-party libraries. 
This is the first video, and it's meant to be an end user demonstration of this feature. I'm going to follow up with three more videos. One is a getting started video that will help people who are unfamiliar with force.com get started in their Salesforce environment. And I'll have two videos after that that people who are already familiar with Salesforce can take a look at how I went about getting Reveal.js working in the force.com environment. Thanks very much.